Once we have a radio on a bird and it's released back into the wild, the rest of the team goes out with radio receivers and directional antennas to try to relocate the bird. We even have a rent an airplane to go up and search the area to see if we've lost any birds. Last night, Joel caught a bird that he named Sheila, and we're going to see if it's still around hanging out in this farm field behind me. That beeping you hear? That's the sound of a buff-breasted sandpiper in an agricultural field here in the Rainwater Basin. As we've watched the birds that have been radio tracked, one of the things we found is the birds are feeding quite a bit here in these agricultural fields, especially first thing in the morning and later in the evening. While agriculture may not be compatible with all wildlife species or at-risk species, the story of the buff-breasted sandpiper shows an important example of the value of agricultural lands for at-risk species. Sheila stuck around for a day and a half, pretty much spending all of her time in one field like the one behind us. And then the following evening we watched as Sheila and about 40 other buff-breasted sandpipers took to the wing and flew over the northern horizon on the way for the rest of their trip. So why do we care whether the buff-breasted sandpiper persists here in Nebraska or not? The first reason is that birding is a major recreational activity for thousands of people. Here in Nebraska, we benefit from the tourism industry, especially during spring migration, when millions of birds are coming through this area and attracting people who want to see this incredible spectacle. But that's not the only reason. This is an area where millions of birds migrate through each year. And understanding what the, bref what the buff-breasted sandpiper is doing represents a greater understanding of how to conserve the diversity of species that are using this area and conserving those species and ensuring the diversity of those species for future generations. Oh, so that's where the buff-breasted sandpipers are. I guess I was looking in the wrong habitat. Thanks, Joel. Finally, we'd like to thank all the landowners that assisted us with our research and allowed us access to their land. They made this a great project to be a part of and this part of Nebraska a great area to work. We'd also like to thank our field technicians, Peter, Jonas, Sarah, Melissa, Adam, Brandon, and Zach. And this work couldn't have been done without the generous support of the State Wildlife Grant Program and the Nebraska Wildlife Conservation Fund. Be sure to look for that peregrine falcon when filling out your state income taxes. Will do. Cut! <laughs>